Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entry Designers. This is Chetan. And in this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create a simple and easy light setup to create beautiful renders. So without further ado, let's get started. So you can see guys, this is our model and you can see its matcap view and its wireframe also. I have created it with the sub-D modeling method. You can see its material, which is very simple material, more or less like its plastic material. And now we are going to create the simple light setup for it. So first thing, you need to add the plane. So shift A, add the plane and create a new collection at there for the light setup. After that, you need to scale this plane and scale it along the X and Y axis. Then you need to go to the edit mode and then select the words or edge and then E to extrude them and move it along the Z axis. Now here you don't need to keep the 90 degree angle so just move these words along the Y axis and keep it 120 degree angle somewhere around. Then select this edge and then Ctrl B and then add bevel on this edge and add 7 or 8 segment bevel at there and give the proper bevel width. We want to create the backdrop at there so that's why. Then shade smooth it and then you need to adjust the scale as per the size of your model. Okay. Now this looks really well. Now the next thing you need to add the camera at there so shift A add the camera and I'm going to keep the camera to the front view of the model. Now just you need to set your camera properly for the better composition. Then you can use the composition guides over here third rule and center rule and one thing you need to keep in the mind that you don't need to fill the full frame of the camera completely with your model as like this. Keep a little bit of distance in between your model and the camera because we want to show the depth at there. So that's why you need to keep a little bit of distance as like this. So it will look really well. If I switch the resolution to the 1080 by 1080 then also you can see here. I'm trying to keep the little bit of distance at there as like this. So it will look really well. These are some of the composition techniques. How should you compose your scenes that also is important thing to create a good renders. Now just I have locked the camera and then go to the shading tab and switch to the world texture and here you need to add the environment texture and select that HDRI. I'm going to use the Artix Workshop HDRI 4K. You will get it on HDRI Heaven. Now just go to the layout mode and turn on your render mode and then change the render engine to the cycle. And now you can see the results at there. This looks really well. You can change the color management to the high contrast and then from FEMIC to the standard, it's totally depend on you. Then just you need to decrease the strength of your HDRI completely to the zero and then switch to the two viewport. In the one viewport, you can see the render of your model and in another viewports, you can add the lights and you can give the right position to those lights to get the good render. So first add the area light, then just move this light along the Z axis and then scale it and it should have the disc shape. This is like more or less the fill light which will fill the area of your scene and just increase the power of the light little bit. Then shift D to duplicate it and create another light and this light should be in the slant angle above your model because we want our highlights at there. So that's why you need to keep this light little bit in angle and then scale it down little bit. You can see because of these lights we are getting the decent looking highlights at there on the model. You can see these highlights on these buttons, which looks really well. So that's why you need to keep the light in the slant angle. You can decide the angle of the light with the help of position of your camera. Then shift D to duplicate it and create another light and then rotate it into the 45 degree. And this light will be your key light, we can say. But in this scene, it is not the key light, it is the fill light because the strength of my HDR light is opposite to this light. So that's why it will be like a fill light. Then add one more light and then move it a little bit here and then rotate it into the 90 degree. These are the small lights which are there. Add a details or to show the details of particular part of the model. Means if there is a little bit of darkness on the model and you want to show the particular details of the model, then you can use these small small lights which looks really well and which helps you to make your details little bit visible. Then you can add the backlight as like this. And now you can see I have created the simple setup at there, simple lighting setup. 
then give the simple material for this backdrop and then increase the strength of your world means that HDRI completely to 1. After that you need to test your light at there and you need to give the right power, right distance and right position for your light. So now I will hide all these lights and I will check each and every light individually so I can understand how its effect on the model. So now you can see if I turn on this light so I am getting those highlights at there. So this is the use of this light so you can understand it very well. And according to that you can adjust its strength. So this is like a technique first create the lights and then try to figure out the right light at there according to your render scene. Now just I will play with the lights to get the better results at there. Then you can use the curves at there and you can create a small S curve to add more contrast at there. Then you need to go to the compositing tab and in between the render layer and composite layer you need to add the filter and denoise filter. So just add that denoise filter so it will denoise your render image. And that's it and you are ready to take the render. So I'm going to take the 2K resolution render. I did the compositing of this render image in the photoshop just I have used the simple curve layers, levels and then color lookup and easily you can create a decent looking render in this way. If you want more this kind of tutorial then please like this tutorial and comment in the comment box. So that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye so next video take care.